Welcome to Assassin's Creed 2. The team, what is out of that <laughs> Which released in 2009, 15 years ago. Sadly, guys, we're getting old, and Assassin's Creed games, they keep getting worse. Oh my god! What is that? So as Ubisoft ferments the old, moldy, chunky milk, Assassin's Creed 2 keeps aging like a fine wine. So grab that fucked up look peanut butter your roommate mysteriously took into his room last night, and spread that shit on some toast, and enjoy a little snack as you watch this video. Let's get into this. Woo! But first, like and subscribe, and your crush will give you that sloppy. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. What is that? Ah! Ah, fuck this place. Never mind. I don't want to take the blue pill. This place sucks. Ah! Meet Ezio Auditore. A charming yet naive young man who some may call the one minute man. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. You know, we could be a, a little bit of a troublemaker. <laughs> but you know, we, we're good hearted. Deep down, we are good hearted. In fact, our sister needs some help. Her boyfriend's been cheating on her. She wants us to do something about it. <laughs> oh! Yeah, like I said, we're good hearted. I would never hurt a soul. Ever. A little brother here also needs some help. Sadly, we're not going to be breaking anyone else's spine. Instead, we are gathering bird feathers. For reasons, I am not going to question from a kid that looks like this. I don't know what you would do with feathers, and I would really like to not find out. Now it's time to help a man named Leonardo da Vinci. You might know him as the guy that played Jack on the Titanic. Hey, that's the wrong guy, man. Uh, oh, 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 uh, um. So we helped deliver a box full of Leonardo's beautiful paintings. Hey, this one is tied to the Mona Lisa. Wow, what a beautiful painting. I sure hope nothing happens to it. Oh, shit! <laughs> I talked to a random lady who too has a problem with her significant other cheating on them. So to make sure that it never happens again, I give the man an unwanted kiss that puts him to sleep forever. Now his wife doesn't have to worry about the man cheating and she can live her life happily ever after. Ah, our father gives us a task to hand deliver letters to people across the city. It's like an ancient version of email. Imagine someone constantly sending you spam through carrier pigeons. Holy shit! After delivering the messages, I arrive back home only to change. <laughs> After delivering the messages, I arrived back home only to get my ass whooped by some random ass lady. Damn! I think this lady is our maid. I'm not too sure, but this chick hits us in the back of our head and acts like, Oh, oh, I didn't know it was you, Ezio. I thought it was a stranger. Like, bitch, you don't recognize the back of my head? Are you high? Anyways, turns out our father and brothers have been taken to prison. <laughs> what did they do? I don't know. But uh, apparently it was serious enough to send a 12 year old to jail, so it must have been bad. We head to the prison to talk to our family members, but instead of just, you know, going inside and asking the police for a family visit, we instead illegally climb up the prison walls up to their jail cell, where our father tells us that he expected this to happen, so he has a plan to get them out. He tells us about a secret room in our house that holds a letter that we have to drop off, and a chest that holds some valuable gear, aka our assassin's outfit, baby! The second best assassin's outfit, right behind Connor's. The letter inside is supposed to be delivered to a man named Uberto. We deliver it to him. He says the letter contains proof that our father and brothers have been framed, and that he will provide this letter at their hearing, and everything is going to be fine. Oh my god! Damn, what happened? Don't worry, I'll tell you. It turns out that the man that we gave the letter to is a traitor. It was useless. He acted as if he never even got this <coughs> letter. So now our father and two brothers are dead. Why they killed the fucking 12 year old is beyond me. What crime did he commit? Staying up past his bedtime? So before our spine is decapitated, we run away from the pursuing guards, AKA Templars. Why do I sound drunk? Don't ask. We then head to a not so family friendly place and no, so not for the reasons you think, you dirty bastard. We're here to learn some new skills so we can kill our family's killers. Thanks to this lady named Paula. Thank you, man. I am very kind of you. Now here's 50 bucks. I expect to slop you. Next, I head over to Leonardo's house so he can help me repair this broken hidden blade that my father gave me. 
Thanks, Father. I don't know how you expected me to fix this on my own, but luckily we have Leonardo here to fix it for me. So Leonardo fixes it, but he gets a knock at his door. Who's there? Oh shit! It's the police! Police brutality! Ah! Luckily, Leonardo fixed this hidden blade. Yeah, 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 take that, bitch! Assassin brutality. <laughs> Weirdly, though, Leonardo wants us to bring the man into his house and do what with him? I will not question. <laughs> now it's time for our first assassin. <laughs> now it's time for our first assassination. Holy shit! Holy shit, Ezio. That was the most brutal assassination I've ever seen. That was some psychopath shit. You acting like he murdered your family or something. <laughs> well, it's time we finally reunite with our mother and sister who were chilling in the brothel. I shall not question what they did during their time here. But it's time for us to leave and head to Villa Auditori, the family home of the Auditori family. But on our way, we run into a man named Vieri, Ezio's opposition. We fight off his guards with the help of our Uncle Mario. Holy shit! No, 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 no. Not that Mario. That Mario. Yeah, this guy. This Mario causes Vieri to turn on flight mode and he takes off. Since Vieri is off flying to whatever destination, Mario then gives us a tour of the villa. Despite it being a family home of Ezio's, apparently he's actually never been here before. Mario teaches us how to fight and Ezio's like, Wah, 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 I want to move to Spain. I don't want to fight the, the dudes that killed my uh, family members. And, he's, and Mario's like, fine, move to Spain. Your father wouldn't want a bitch to avenge his death anyways. Like, damn, Mario, chill, okay? It's fine. We'll stay. Just go and stomp on some goompas, okay? To release some of that anger. So we head to San Gimignano. <laughs> Definitely pronounced that correctly. To assassinate Vieri. Okay, 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 okay. Ezio, chill, 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 okay? Damn, damn, he's, he's dead, man. He can't hear you. Jeez. And so now we're back in Florence to assassinate Vieri's father, Francesco. As I'm right behind Francesco, the game penetrates me in the asshole and puts me into a cutscene, preventing me from killing him. That's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? He's right there! Come on, man, this game's this game bogus, bro. So instead of us just killing him, Francesco attacks the Medici family, basically the rulers of Florence, and kills Giuliano in a brutal fashion, and they attack Lorenzo. So, uh, thanks, game. We were right up Francesco's ass, yet I didn't get to kill him, because I guess the game had other plans. So we fight off the guards, and we escort Lorenzo to his house. And, uh, we also burn Giuliano's body, but in a bit of an unorthodox way. So now, a few hours later, it's time we actually assassinate Francesco. Easy peasy, lick my penis. Two years passes, and we head back to San Gimignano. Definitely said that right. Where we assassinate three more people, all no names, that are only here to give us information on the whereabouts of the real antagonist of this game. We tell one of the real antagonists, named Jacobo. Let's see what happens. I, I doubt anything will go wrong. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, the fuck? What? What the fuck? Oh. Oh shit, well that was unexpected. Well, let's hope that's the only thing that went wrong. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Of course it's not. Well, no shit I got you caught. I'm literally think. standing out in the open staring at them. <laughs> no fucking shit I got caught. But luckily we are now a skilled fighter and we can take on all these guards easy peasy. And then we assassinate Jacobo, who is somehow still alive despite being stabbed through the neck earlier. But um, okay, you are one tough man, Jacobo. I'll give you that. And now another two years passes. At this rate, the people we're trying to assassinate are just gonna die of old age. I wonder how that would feel. Imagine you try to seek revenge for the death of your father and brothers, and you spend years trying to find the men responsible, only for them to die of old age. I would feel so useless, I would probably shoot myself. Anyways, we head to Leonardo's place only to find out that he's leaving and is heading to Venice. Well damn, Venice sounds nice as hell! I can't let him go alone, I gotta join him! So we do, we manage to somehow catch up to him, and ride with him to Venice, only to be caught off guard by a bunch of Templars. But we are the main character, so that no matter what shenanigans they try to throw at us, it won't stop us, baby. They could set a bridge on fire and we'd still run through it. Oh my god! We fight off the remaining Templars and finally arrive in... Well, not Venice, but some other place that has a boat that will take us to Venice. But we sadly need a pass to be able to get on. But again, we are the main character. 
So luckily, a lady needs our help, and luckily, when we do help her, she turns out to be the wife of the man who rules the city. What luck! Now we finally have the pass and are able to arrive in the floating city, aka Venice. <laughs> Why did he do that? He just died. So we arrive in Venice, and the first thing we do is scout out a building that houses one of the Templars we need to assassinate. And oh, oh shit, what the fuck? What was that? What's going on? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, shit, okay, I guess I guess we're helping this random ass lady now. And while she is a trooper, I shall say, because despite being shot in the leg with an arrow, she is still hauling booty. Until she's not. So we pick her up and take her to this dude, and he uses a boat to get her to their destination. Then, dude, my god, this game starts throwing fucking the most random QTEs at us ever. It's like, oh, you're not paying attention? QTE! QTE! Jesus! I'm not prepared for this, bro. I I'm gonna say, this is, this is not the only time the game throws a random ass QT QTE at you. It's literally so random when it happens. Have a taste. Ah! Why is there a QTE here? What the fuck? And it's settled. In Boca Lupo. Fuck. Why do they keep putting these QTEs in, bro? So after saving the lady, we now have new friends. And the lady, whose name is Rosa, shows us a parkour technique that allows us to scale bigger gaps in walls. Thanks, Rosa. Very cool. Now that we have this skill, we can now enter the building we were nonchalantly staring at earlier. And now we can assassinate the next Templar, Emilio. And now we own the palace. We are one step closer to becoming high rulers of Venice. And you know what the first thing I'm gonna do is when we become high rulers? Sink it. No! No! Now it's time to infiltrate another building. But this one ain't gonna be as easy as the last one. This one, while it appears the only way to get inside is to fly over the walls. How would we ever do that? It's not like a man can just grow wings. Ah! Oh my god, we can grow wings with the power of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, so Leonardo made this flying contraption that will allow us to get into the building. It wasn't specifically designed for this, but thanks, Leonardo, for sacrificing your uh, device to be it for us. Um, thanks, real cool. So yeah, now we're able to easily infiltrate the building, and we try to save the Doge. No, 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 not that one. He's already dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. that one. We rush for an attempt to save him, but we're too late. He's already drinking the lean, and now he's destined to spit the worst bars imaginable and upload it to SoundCloud. <laughs> no! So, you know, we gotta assassinate the man responsible. Carlo. C Carlos. Carlo. Carlo. Now, a new man has been elected Doge, though. But the bad thing is, it's another Templar that we have to assassinate. To do so, ha however, fuck, we have to get close to him. And the way to do it, well, <laughs> obviously, we gotta play some carnival games. Apparently, Italy's prizes for winning these games is tickets that allowed you to meet the Doge. Personally, I think I would rather have a cheap stuffed animal instead, but eh, this is good for us because we need to assassinate the Doge. So, we play these games, but it turns out it's all rigged. My god, it's just like real life. No! So since they wanted to fuck us, we gotta fuck them. By taking the golden mask that we would have won that allows you to see the Doge. We take it and are able to get right up to the Doge and bop. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze them, ladies. All right, boys, it's officially been 10 whole years since our father and brothers have been killed. Like I said, at this rate, the Templars are just gonna die of old age. Now it's time we kill the final Templar that killed our father and brothers. Just kidding, nope, no we don't. So like, let me break it down for you. We followed this guard that leads us to a box that has a special object in it, the Apple of Eden, which the Templar wants because it means they like have all the power of the world or something. So, so once the guard arrives in the box, once the guard arrives to the box, once the guard arrives at the box, so once the guard arrives at the box, we kill him and wear his uniform so we can get close to the Templar guy and kill him. But no, instead of assassinating him, we assassinate the guard that's standing in front of us instead. Like bro. I don't know, but if Ezio was a little bit more patient, we could have ended this whole thing right here. But no, we gotta drag this game out for another like three hours. And then finally reach back up to the Templar guy all the way in Rome. But yeah, we finally assassinate him. Then the game has a bit of a fourth wall break with this chick who has like four names. I'm just gonna call her Mera or something like that because it's the easiest. And yeah, that's the end of the game. Definitely the best Assassin's Creed game in the series. I literally finished this game in one day. <laughs> 
So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, again, like and subscribe. And I'll see you, sexy beasts, in the next video. Peace.